A favourite in fairgrounds and uh, school, f school fates is the steady hand game where uh, you have to follow a, a bendy wire with a loop and if you touch the wire um, a buzzer goes off. Um, so um, here's how to, how to make um, a very s uh, simple one. Um, the first thing we're going to do is to um, bend up the wire and I'm going to use um, a length of uh, 1.6mm diameter welding rod. Um, it's steel rod with a copper coating. Now um, I can pretty much bend this in my fingers. Um, if pupils are going to do it they, they might need to use um, pliers to help them. Um, how complicated you bend it, how difficult you make the gain is up to you. I'm just going to have a A zigzag line there and then leave two uprights standing like this can adjust it and then I'm going to bend out two um, feet at right angles so one going one way like that and if you can see that and then the other one going in the opposite direction so I've got one leg one way and one leg the other way. Um, next I'm going to fix this to a base. I'm going to use a piece of Corex here. And I'm just going to sellotape two pieces of 3mm Corex um, onto the base with the flutes running that way. Could use a glue gun. In fact, as my sellotape's just uh, run out, I think I will use a glue gun. There's one. There's two. And we can use those to connect our bendy wire to, like that. Works quite well. Um, next we're going to start to build the circuit. Um, I'm going to use um, a 3 volt buzzer. So uh, I'm going to use a double uh, double A battery holder, a 2 double A battery holder. Before we go any further just make sure it's working. As you probably know uh, buzzers have to be connected the right way around. The red wire has to go to the plus. Yep that's working fine. Uh, we'll put proper connector on the holder. Make sure the wires don't touch. There we are. And we're going to join the two red wires together. The red wire from the battery to the red wire from the buzzer. The buzzer wires need stripping. I, I normally cut off the soldered end parts. And then you can usually, with an automatic wire stripper, strip both wires at the same time. There we are. So I'm going to join the two red wires together. Twist it and then wrap the wires round. Just check that it's still working. Yep, that was fine. Um, and we're going to connect one of these black wires, either the uh, battery black wire or the buzzer black wire, to one end of the bendy wire. It doesn't matter which end. Um, I'm going to connect it to this end. And what you can do is if you wrap it round the wire there then if you're careful you can then slide it into the corex and that will help to keep the wire connected to the to the metal rod and to make that um, a bit more permanent we'll put some sticky tape on it the last of my sticky tape just to keep that connection secure. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, just to check that it's still okay. When I touch that, it should go. Yep, that's still working. Um, we've now got to make the um, loop that we're going to hold that's, that we have to move around. So I've got another piece of uh, 1.6 millimeter welding rod. And I'm going to uh, bend a loop. You could use uh, pliers. I've got some pin nose pliers here which are ideal. This is a, available as a kit and um, I supply 
the loop already made. It's also available as a class pack. So make your loop. Once again you can decide how hard to make this game by how big or small you make the loop. There we go. I leave a little gap so that it can be easily um, connected or disconnected to the game. Um, now we could use um, standard wire to connect onto here, but I've got some slightly more flexible wire here, which I think will be better. I'm just going to strip the end. And as best as we can connect that on. Um, if I was making one I would use a soldering iron to solder that connection on. Um, I think if we wrap it in, in, in sellotape or insulating tape it should hold. Inevitably it probably will come off, you might have to repair it. But it should last a few hours. There we are. So we've now connected that onto the loop and the end of this wire is connected to the other black wire, in this case the buzzer black wire. So we strip that and connect those two together. So it's a simple series circuit, you just have to make sure that you get the two red wires joined together and just to double check it's still working yep that's working fine the last thing to do is to glue the uh, battery holder down and the buzzer down I'm just going to do that, just switch it off glue the ba battery holder down somewhere convenient and the buzzer down here and then probably um, I'd get some sellotape and tidy up the wires. I can actually use the holes in the corex to tuck those wires away safely to make a neat job of it. Um, to play the game you loop the loop over and the idea is you've got to go all the way along the wire without touching it and if you do touch it the buzzer will buzz. Um, if the buzzer, uh, if you get fed up with the buzzer, I could have used a bulb to indicate that the wire is touched, or even um, an LED. So I hope you enjoy making this very simple version of the popular steady hand game.